What are they arguing about? Seems that he wants her back. Oh, that was cruel. Rinaldo, are you okay? I'm fine. I wonder why Irene was so angry. It must have been something she read on that note. I want to check what it says. I will do anything for you. You are the love of my life. Signed R. It seems so sweet, but Irene was so angry. Well, never mind. I must find the padlock and get back to Herman. <laughs> Miss Myers, have you found the padlock? Yes. Excellent. Please, give it to me. Thank you so much. No problem. Herman, how well did you know Flavio? I can't say we were friends, but he was a nice juvenile. What do you want to know about him? He was homeless, right? Yes. After Roberto's death, Flavio was devastated. He sold his house and packed his things into a box. I remember I asked him what the heck he was doing, but he wouldn't listen. I told him that... Herman, wait, please. That box with his belongings, do you know where it is? It is right here, in the cellar. He asked me to store it for a while, so I did. And it's been here to this day. That could be very useful. May I see what's inside that box? I don't know. I promised him to keep it safe. It's his personal items. But he is dead now. Okay. Let's go and check what's inside. It must be somewhere here. Aha! Here it is! It is locked. Do you have a key? No. We will have to find something to break the lock.
found a hammer. I think this hammer might help. Great! I found a diary. Oh, look! This is Roberto's diary. But it has a strange lock. We should use the hammer on it. No, that isn't going to work. We need to keep the diary intact. That wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Damn, what is this? What? This is gibberish. I don't understand a word. Then our efforts were useless? Maybe not. Let's try to decode it. Great! Now I can read it. Let me see. The last note is... Dated June 19th, 1918. That was the day of the accident. Where the hell is Flavio, and why didn't he come to work today? I hope Signor Cozzi will let me leave work early today. Roberto! Stop sleeping, for God's sake! Didn't I tell you to go and find Nerio Tardoro's case file? Si, Signore. Give me a minute. case file. Here it is. Finally! Roberto, you might be my first assistant who has some signs of an intellect. Tiny signs, of course, but signs nevertheless. Give me the case files. Signor Corsi, can I leave early today? What? Are you kidding me? You have work to do. Si, signore. Go to the cell and clean it up. It's a total mess in there after that scum we released earlier today. And take a plunger. You will need it. Great. I found a plunger. Is this what I've been dreaming about all my life? I shouldn't have got a job in the police. Everything is clean now. May I leave? Sure. Before you go, get the police tape from the abandoned house. Oh, and I forgot my cigarette case somewhere there. Please find it too. Si, signore. Excuse me? Uh, si, signore. That's much better. I found 
the cigarette case. The police tape, it should be here somewhere. Great, I found the police tape. At last, I can go back now. Ah, Roberto. I hope you haven't come back empty-handed. Uh, no, I found everything. Good. Put the police tape into the cupboard. Now hand me my cigarette case. Kotsi speaking. Uh-huh. Right. Yes, I'll send Roberto immediately. Adio. Listen, your friend Flavio is in a brawl at the cafe. He's drunk again. Go help Herman out and then deal with Flavio. Si, signore. Sir, uh, Signor Herman. Hello, Roberto. Uh, I'm sorry about Flavio. I, I don't know what's been going on with him lately. Uh, don't worry. Young blood, you know? Uh, at least let me help you clean up this mess. Could you help me put everything in order? Thank you, Roberto. You're welcome. Did you see where Flavio went? No, but he looked very depressed. Uh, I think I know where he might be. Flavio, there you are. Do me a favor and uh, get lost. Ah, Cristo. Let's go. I'll get you home. Flavio, do you hear me? Oh, Roberto, mi amico. It's so good uh, to see you. What are you doing here? You are drunk. Let me help you. Drunk? No, no, I'm not drunk yet. Come, Roberto, sit up. Have a drink with me. I think you've had enough. Let's go. What a pain. You sound like uh, my father. All right, all right. Where is my lighter? Uh, I need my lighter, Roberto. Damn. I'd better help him find his lighter. Otherwise, we will be stuck here forever. Lighter. Here, I found it. Ah, oh, you saved my life. Can we go now? Yeah, yes, sure. What's wrong with you? I don't even know who you are anymore, Flavio. What's wrong with me, you ask? Your very existence destroyed my life. Destroyed your life? How? You're a war hero. You've been awarded the Medal of Valor. 
You have higher military rank. You are better looking, after all. You sound like a total idiot. I... I can't believe you would say that, after everything we experienced together in the war. Flavio, you are my best friend, my brother. I know. Flavio, come on, let's go. Just leave me alone! <sighs> oh, mio Dio, mio Dio! This explains a lot. We have to show this diary to Signor Cozzi! Not a good idea, believe me. Officer Cozzi is going to jump to conclusions about Irene. He will think that she read the journal and killed Flavio. What? No, she didn't. Signora Hoffman wouldn't harm a fly. Do you think Adriano killed him? Mm, no. Then who did it, Herman? I don't know. But believe me, both of them are good, decent people. I believe you. But even good people can make a mistake. Please don't tell Officer Cozzi about the diary. I will show it to him when the time is right. It's been a long day. I need to get back to my apartment. Good night, Herman. Good night, Miss Myers. Luigi, how's it going? Have you found Adriano? No luck so far. We've looked everywhere, but no sign of him. Have you found any new information? Somebody broke into the station cellar today. I suspect it was him. What? Why do you think so? He must have needed food and other items to make his escape. And I found a freshly used pipe in the service room right before that incident. Can you show me? Yes, this pipe definitely belongs to Adriano. Good. We can take his fingerprints from this pipe, and tomorrow we can compare them with those on the shovel. Good idea. I'll see you tomorrow then, Anna. Good night. Then they were looking for something else. I need to look around. Seems like my chloroform is missing. I have to speak to Luigi and Officer Cozzi. Good morning, Miss Myers. Anna, is everything all right? You, you look tired. Someone assaulted me last night. What? When I returned home, someone was hiding in my apartment. As soon as I entered, I was attacked from behind. Mio Dio! Did you see who it was? No. It was probably Adriano again. Damn! I should have called him a long time ago. He could have hurt you. He could, but he didn't. Whoever it was, they didn't come there for me. But what were they looking for in your apartment? I don't know. They only took the chloroform from my medicine chest. We need to find out what's really going on. Luigi, did you collect all the fingerprints yesterday? Yes. Let me put the kit on the table. Good. Let's compare these fingerprints with the ones we found on the shovel.
it seems that only Flavio and Adriano's fingerprints were on the shovel. You see, Adriano did this, and now we have the proof. We only have proof that Adriano touched the shovel, but we do not have any proof that he actually killed Flavio. There might be an innocent explanation why his fingerprints are on it. Actually, yes. Do you remember Tonino, the cemetery caretaker? After his death, Adriano sometimes dug the graves for local funerals. I don't understand. Why are you defending Adriano? He escaped from the cell, attacked Herman, and even assaulted you. What else does he have to do for you to realize that he killed Flavio? I will not allow another murder to happen in my town. There won't be another murder. Flavio was the only person the killer wanted dead. What makes you think so? Yesterday, I found Roberto's diary. The last entry says that Roberto was accidentally pushed off the cliff by Flavio. What? How could Roberto write about it? He was dead. The handwriting was different. It wasn't written by Roberto. My guess is that it was written by Flavio out of guilt. Mamma mia! Then Irene was right all along. But this means that she had a clear motive to kill Flavio.